So you probably have a lot of questions about X49. A uh, really good, important question is, how is it different than X39, right? We want to take a look at that. Also, it was very, very important from a business perspective that X39 remain the parent product and X49 be an add-on, right? We want to continue to message X39 as the lead-in product and X49 is something that you add on as a bonus. And so the two of them work together as companions and you're going to see some clinical data on that. So what does X49 do? It elevates a HKCU. X39, of course, as we know, elevates GHKCU. They're copper peptides, they're mother and daughter peptides, uh, but what they do is very different. GHK is ubiquitous. It's found throughout the entire body. AHK is found in more specialized tissue, and therein lies the power of X49 and AHK. So like GHK, AHK will decline with age. Alanine is the amino acid in the AHK. So GHK is glycine, histidine, lysine. AHK is alanine, histidine, lysine. What first got me interested in this uh, more than three years ago now is I was looking at peptides that were based on alanine. And there's an interesting thing that seems to happen in the brain with alanine metabolism. And I would go as far to say that someday there will be a naturally occurring peptide discovered that will be a very, very effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease and ALS, and it will involve manipulating the alanine pathway. So that's actually why I was researching this in the very beginning. Um, now, there are a number of things that are already known about AHK and then a number of things that we discovered in our research. One of them uh, that's known is that AHK gets involved with uh, repair of the endothelial lining. And what's interesting about that is that repair of the endothelial lining is induced by a growth factor called VEGF. Another thing that's interesting is that as you repair the endothelial lining, it has an effect on nitric oxide production. So AHK has actually been around for a number of years uh, as a cosmetic product. Uh, and one of the claims that we definitely don't make, but I'm going to tell you because you're going to find out anyway, is that it's used in hair growth. Um, <laughs> so AHK uh, was found by Dr. Lauren Picard in studies to actually be 10 times more effective than GHK at inducing hair growth. Uh, that puts it on the same level as minoxidil, uh, but it doesn't do it through manipulating hormones. For those of you that are interested in exploring this, uh, I've spoken with a medical doctor. We're looking at doing a study. Hair growth is a medical claim. We're not claiming hair growth. We haven't done a study on this. For those of you that are so interested, the recommendation from this doctor would be to go for microneedling to open up the pores, and then you can see if anything happens after that. Okay. So... Our own research into AHK um, has been almost entirely focused on what type of claims that we're allowed to make. So the patches in the United States are in the general wellness category. So that means that we can't make any medical claims. It has to be things like improving energy, improving the quality of sleep, uh, improving overall lifestyle and health, supporting a healthy lifestyle and a number of fitness claims. Fitness claims, notably, fit in very well with general wellness. So in our clinical studies um, to support the product launch, we've looked at claims that can support fitness. But the properties of AHK do go beyond that. X49 only versus the combination of the two. We saw on the number of calories burned, over a 90% improvement. Now, um, we, did, we have a piece of technology that we purchased just for these studies that does a full body scan. And I'm going to show you an image uh, from the study so you can see how that translates into change in body shape in two months. Uh, bike top speed increased by 27% versus 22% with the combination. The distance that was traveled was also increased by the combination of the two or X49 only. 
Now, we were speaking about health of the heart. There's a relaxation response that occurs with using both X39 and X49. There's an improvement in endothelial function. And this translates into not only a decrease in the pulse rate, but a change and improvement in blood pressure. So here we see just using X49 only versus the combination of two, the pulse rate comes down. So what our data is showing is that both X39 and X49 have an effect on our overall body, but what they do is they work in different ways at improving health. X49 mostly, in this example, is focusing on uh, our muscle mass. And as a result of getting an increase in lean muscle, we also see corresponding decrease in body fat. And this is not a fat burning mechanism per se that we would usually think of. Um, so after two months of using X49, uh, people find out not only have they gained more strength, stamina, and lean muscle, but the amount of body fat also reduces. Okay, so here's a, one of the images from the study. This is a fellow that is 74, and I want you to take a look at a couple of uh, the points here. The most important one is the health risk. You can look at the body fat percentage where we started out at 37.5, which is not so good. Um, but what this equipment does is it calculates risk for things like cardiovascular disease, and then it just puts it into a simple percentage. So at this body fat relative to muscle mass, he's got a 50, he's 53% higher than ideal in body composition. Now this is what happens after using X49 uh, just for two months. I'm gonna put those images side by side so you can see them. Great, that was Michael Lacurzo, wasn't it? I'd recognize that voice anywhere. <laughs> okay, so uh, at age 74, not only was he able to get a reduction in body fat, but look what happened with the health risk now. 53% to 20%. So this is very much in keeping with the goals of the company. We want to uh, not only improve people's overall body shape, but improve their health. That's ultimately the goal. So I want to get into one other thing here, more specifically is on blood pressure. So we had first saw this um, in clinical studies that we did with X39. It appears there's a number of things that are going on here. One is that the cardiovascular system itself seems to be go through some repair. And there's also a relaxation response in the autonomic nervous system. Um, so we're not 100% sure why we see decreases in blood pressure, uh, but we have certainly measured it and we've obtained statistical significance with it. Um, by the way, if someone had high blood pressure, I would not be using only uh, this product for reduction in blood pressure. I would be combining it, again, with a, a healthy diet and a number of nutritional supplements like pomegranate extract, uh, vitamin K2, that we know